Copenhaver's Hermetica, Chapter 3, A Sacred Discourse of Hermes. God is the glory of all things, as also are the divine and the divine nature. God, as well as mind and nature and matter, is the beginning of all things that are, since he is wisdom meant to show them forth. The divine is also a beginning, and it is a nature and energy and necessity and completion and renewal. In the deep there was boundless darkness and water and fine intelligent spirit, all existing by divine power in chaos. Then a holy light was sent forth, and elements solidified out of liquid essence. And all the gods divide the parts of germinal nature. While all was unlimited and unformed, light elements were set apart to the heights, and the heavy were grounded in the moist sand, the whole of them delimited by fire and raised aloft to be carried by spirit. The heavens appeared in seven circles. The gods became visible in the shapes of the stars and all their constellations, and the arrangement of this lighter substance corresponded to the gods contained in it. The periphery rotated in the air, carried in a circular course by divine spirit. Through his own power, each god sent forth what was assigned to him, and the beast came to be, four-footed, crawling, water-dwelling, winged, and every germinating seed and grass and every flowering plant. Within them they had the seed of rebirth. The gods sowed the generations of humans to know the works of God, to be a working witness to nature, to increase the number of mankind, to master all things under heaven, to discern the things that are good, to increase by increasing and multiply by multiplying, and through the wonder-working course of the cycling gods they created every soul incarnate to contemplate heaven, the course of the heavenly gods, the works of God and the working of nature, to examine things that are good, to know divine power, to know the whirling changes of fair and foul, and to discover every means of working skillfully with things that are good. For them this is the beginning of the virtuous cycle, and of wise thinking as far as the course of the cycling gods destines it. And it is also the beginning of their release to what will remain of them after they have left great monuments on earth in works of industry. In the flame of seasons they will become dim, and from every birth of ensouled flesh, from the sowing of crops and from every work of industry, what is diminished will be renewed by necessity and by the renewal that comes from the gods and by the course of nature's measured cycle. For the divine is the entire combination of cosmic influence renewed by nature, and nature has been established in the divine. End of chapter 3